in this demo, we'll start from an email. Contoso still gets lots of new requests for products via email. And in, in like in this specific case, this is an email that asks Adele to create new products according to the PDF document um, that is attached. So if we take a look at this PDF document, you can see there's a lot of information, header information, stuff like that. But then at the core, there's a table with three new products, HBR 1000 to HBR 1002 with a name, a description and a price. So in the past, Adele took this PDF document once she got it via email. She then copy and paste, pasted the relevant information into her SAP system. And that was it. Now, since she has created a Power Automate flow, the process is much, much simpler. She obviously still gets this email. But now, thanks to this Power Automate flow, Power Automate takes this PDF document, it analyzes this PDF document, extracts the relevant product information, and then asks Adele for confirmation whether the information that was extracted is actually valid. So here in Teams, yeah, you can see there's just this new um, adaptive cart coming in. You can, we can see the product ID, the name and the price. And I can just click here on approve to approve um, the information that was received. Obviously, this will now happen for the other products as well. I get the relevant information. I can just, I just need to click on approve and also for the third one. And then, um, yeah, we should be good to go. So once the third item is um, approved, now all the information from the PDF documents are extracted. So this means if we now head over to the um, SAP screen that we also saw before, and we search for this HBR 1000 product, then we can actually see it now in the product list from the SAP system. Obviously, pictures or something else um, that is not available in the PDF document is also not there, but the relevant information, the product material information is now in the SAP system. So how was this done? Well, if we switch over to Power Automate to this flow that the business users have created, then the initial trigger point, the starting point is this on new email. So this flow will be triggered once a new email arrives, then we'll take a look at all the attachments. And if there is a PDF document um, attached to it, then we'll using the AI builder functionality that are natively available with Power Automate to actually take a look at the content of this PDF document. So we have trained this um, model um, with, with multiple other PDF documents, and we are looking for this product table information. If we find such a product table, then we can actually loop over this information. So here you, you, we can see that we are looping over all the entries of this product table. We'll just send out an email for confirmation. But the most important thing here is this um, um, Teams integration that allows us to send an adaptive card with all the relevant information. This is the product ID, product name, product price that we just received from um, the PDF document. And then we just send um, and, and create this um, information to the SAP system via the SAP O data connector um, that we um, previously talked about also in the other demo. So let's take a look at the actual run um, that was just executed. So you can see the on me email um, um, action was um, successfully executed. You can see that then we um, processed the PDF document. And then as a result, we can see the um, next steps. The email was sent, the um, Teams integration was done. And then at the end, um, we have created or we added this product to our SAP system. So down here, you can see this is the entry for the first product for this HBR 1000, which was in DVD one. And then if we um, browse through the other items in our product table, you can see that uh, here also the other products were created in the SAP system.